Ever wondered why quitting smoking feels like an uphill battle? The truth is, nicotine addiction is no small adversary. It's a formidable opponent, a sneaky trickster that lures us into believing that we can't live without it. When we light up a cigarette, nicotine rushes to our brain, triggering feelings of pleasure and relaxation. But as the effects fade, our brain starts to crave that next hit. This cycle of craving and satisfaction is what makes nicotine so addictive and quitting smoking such a struggle. But here's the good news. This seemingly Herculean task of quitting can be broken down into manageable steps. Steps that guide you gently, yet firmly towards a smoke-free life. They aren't shortcuts or magic potions, but practical science-backed strategies that have helped millions to extinguish their last cigarette. This journey won't be easy, but it's one worth taking. So buckle up and embrace the challenge. Stay tuned as we unveil the five clear steps to quit smoking successfully. The first step to overcoming any problem is acknowledging it. This is true for quitting smoking as well. Recognizing that you're dealing with an addiction, not a habit, is pivotal. The distinction is crucial. An addiction isn't a sign of weakness or a lack of willpower. It's a complex interplay of physical and psychological factors. It's the nicotine in cigarettes creating a strong physical dependence. It's the daily rituals and emotional triggers tying you to the act of smoking. Acknowledging the addiction means understanding these intricate elements. It's about seeing smoking for what it truly is, a powerful addiction, not a mere choice or a simple habit. It's about acknowledging the hold it has on you. Doing so doesn't mean you're weak. Quite the contrary, it reflects strength and courage. It signifies the first crucial step towards freedom. Once you acknowledge the addiction, you are ready for the next step. Now that you've acknowledged your addiction, it's time to set a quit date. This is the second step on your journey to becoming smoke-free. Setting a quit date can be likened to setting the departure date for a long-awaited trip. Just as you would prepare for a journey, setting a quit date allows you to mentally prepare for this significant life change. Choosing a quit date is more than just circling a day on your calendar. It's about giving yourself a concrete goal to aim for. It's about setting a timeline that allows you to gradually adjust your mindset and daily routines. It's about taking control and making an active decision to change your life for the better. The significance of setting a quit date cannot be overstated. It provides a sense of purpose and direction. It gives you a target to strive towards. It's a constant reminder of your commitment to quit smoking and the reason why you're doing it. To live a healthier, longer life. Your quit date should be a day that holds meaning for you. It could be a birthday, an anniversary, or any day that you feel will motivate you to stick to your decision. Remember, this is your journey, and your quit date should reflect that. With a quit date in place, you're ready to move on to step three. The third step involves identifying your smoking triggers and planning how to deal with them. But what exactly are smoking triggers? They're those situations, feelings or activities that make you reach for a cigarette. They can be as diverse as the people who experience them. For some, it might be a cup of coffee in the morning. For others, it could be stress or even social gatherings. The key is to identify what triggers you personally. Now, how do you deal with these triggers? Let's dive into some strategies. If stress is your trigger, consider alternatives like deep breathing exercises or yoga to calm your mind. For those who light up after a meal, try substituting that cigarette with a piece of fruit or a short walk. Got a social gathering coming up? Prepare yourself mentally to resist the urge to smoke and remember, it's okay to ask your friends for support. However, remember, there's no one-size-fits-all solution here. You need to find what works for you and be open to trying different strategies. It's all about building a personal plan that helps you avoid or cope with your triggers. And don't worry if it seems overwhelming at first. The important thing is to start, to take that first step. You're not alone in this journey, and every step forward is a victory. With your triggers identified and a plan in place, you're ready for the next step. The journey to quit smoking doesn't have to be a lonely one. Step four is about seeking support. It's often said that it takes a village to raise a child, and similarly, it can take a village to help you quit smoking. Having a solid support system in place can be a game changer in your journey to a smoke-free life. Imagine you're a ship sailing towards the horizon of a healthier, smoke-free life. Your support system is the wind in your sails, pushing you forward, helping you weather the storm. It could be your friends, family, colleagues, or even support groups. They are there to cheer you on, listen to you when the going gets tough,
and celebrate your victories, no matter how small. Yet it's not just about emotional support. Practical support is crucial too. Maybe it's a friend who accompanies you for a walk when you're battling a craving, or a family member who helps remove smoking reminders from your home. Every bit of support adds up, making your journey a little bit easier. Professional help can also be an essential part of your support system. Doctors, therapists or quitline advisors can provide you with strategies and resources to cope with cravings and withdrawal symptoms. They can also help you understand your addiction better and guide you through the process. Remember seeking support is not a sign of weakness. It's a smart move that significantly increases your chances of successfully quitting. Armed with a support system, you're ready for the final step. The final step is all about commitment and rewarding progress. Now, commitment isn't a one-off deal. It's an ongoing pledge to yourself, a promise that you'll stick to your plan no matter what. It's about being determined to see this through, to keep your quit date sacred, and to tackle those triggers head on. But commitment doesn't have to be a solemn, joyless affair. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Every day, every hour, every minute that you stay smoke-free is a victory. And victories deserve to be celebrated. Reward yourself for these achievements no matter how small they may seem. Perhaps it's a fancy coffee after a week smoke-free, or a new book after a month. These rewards serve as motivation. They're not just treats but reminders of the progress you've made. Remember, there's strength in perseverance. With each reward, you're not just celebrating a smoke-free day, you're celebrating a healthier, happier you. With commitment and rewards for progress, you're on your way to a smoke-free life. So, to summarize the journey to quit smoking, it begins with acknowledging your addiction, setting a quit date, identifying your triggers, seeking support, and staying committed to your plan. Each step brings its own rewards, including better health, an improved quality of life, and even financial savings. The benefits are immense and the journey is worth every effort. Remember, quitting smoking is a journey, not a destination. And every step you take towards quitting brings you one step closer to a healthier life. Please like, share and subscribe for more health and wellness tips.